There's so much information in the health world today about different diets, different foods that are healthy for us. You've got vegetarianism, carnivore, uh, paleo, Atkins keto, um, and they all claim to be backed by science and the best diet for you. But in reality, the best diet for you is different from the next person. Maybe there's certain foods that don't agree well with you, like nightshades. I know my daughter, Chloe, um, we eat pretty healthy as a family, but she can't deal with nightshades. She gets this rash all over her body. Yet for other people, it's like, well, they're packed with you know, health benefits. I know some people that garlic and onions, they, they can't eat those, but but others would be like, you know what, those are really healthy foods for me. Um, same thing with dairy, you know, meat. So for you, this COVID-19 quarantine thing could be an incredible opportunity to figure out what foods you're allergic to. So here's how you do that. It's called an elimination diet. So if you have any sort of suspicion that you might be allergic to certain food groups, just cut them out of your diet for the next four weeks and see how your body feels, see how it responds, and then slowly add things back in. So we as a family are doing an elimination diet right now called the autoimmune protocol. Basically, we're eating meat, vegetables, and eggs, and then we're slowly going to add things back in. Uh, we're even coaching our clients right now through what we call the village protocol, which is very similar to the autoimmune protocol with raw dairy added in. Uh, the reason that we as a family decided not to do raw dairy is because we want to know what the effect is on our bodies. We're pretty sure that raw dairy does really well with all of us, but we want to know for sure. Even though we're big proponents of eating dairy products, we want to know well, what effect does that have when we add back in raw kefir to our diets? What effect does raw milk have when we add that back in? And we're going to figure that out over the course of the next 30 days. So I hope you'll join us on this uh, protocol to figure out what foods your body responds best to and utilize this opportunity of not having a lot of external influences to learn about yourself.